Hey guys, James here and welcome to another FMM Full Metal Monsters battle. This time I'm going to talk about my strategies that I use on grasslands. Now, you can either spawn here or on the opposite side. If you spawn in this sort of abandoned complex, there's lots of cover here. Nice for flying dinosaurs, you can see there's a few tall areas. But once you leave this area, you're pretty much out in the open. A usual strategy is most people go straight down towards where the giant waterfall is. But for me, I like to go up this way and then kind of attack the central area. I think like this is a good point of attack because you can uh, look straight across. Oh, uh, there's another one there. Let me just get these guys. As you can see, they're kind of fighting for the central beacon. Here, this is the one time where a central beacon is kind of a trap. If you head in there, and if you're not dominating, it can literally be just, it's easy to take you out there. Oh, who's here? Who's here? Where's the bad guy? Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh. So for me, I like to capture this beacon first. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's take down that flying dinosaur. There's some nice cover here, so like check that out. He's just wasted all that, just trying to shoot me. And he'll waste it again. Come on, Mr. Pteranodon, don't be afraid. And he's done for. Oh, 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 take some cover. Ah, I'm not hiding, I'm preparing. Yeah, nice. So you see, this is obviously my dinosaur is level 10, but still, it's there's nice cover here. This guy really doesn't stand a chance, you know, it's... If it's quite frustrating I think it looks like I'm not leaving but this is that's part of the strategy <laughs> we just dominated this look how we just beat them so quick um, I didn't even get to explore the whole map but I'll talk about it okay so let's just take a look at the grasslands map so you spawn here or here in the case of this last match I spawned here even though it says just ignore the red and blue for the moment so the easiest points to capture obviously straight here right in front of your base point C is a little bit of a death trap as I said just too many openings and very awkward to get out of there it feels I think if you can dominate with all your teammates and each of you takes a doorway it could potentially be quite useful for flying dinosaurs there's not a lot of cover in the open areas here all this is wide open so your main cover points if you're a flying dinosaur is there's tall buildings here and here and actually if you manage to reach the central area with a flying dinosaur it can be fun you can go in and out of the the roof but ultimately you don't last very long as a flying dino in that situation and you saw in the video the guy had his pteranodon and he came in this area it's one of my favorite beacons lots of cover you're kind of controlling uh, this passage and you're keeping an eye on that passage and you're still shooting the guy central point C so this for me is really power position this area is just too wide open and you're just cannon fodder for, for everyone my feeling is if you begin here you have more of a home advantage I don't know why that is I feel the the guys here they have a bit of a longer journey to get to the central point C I'm not sure what it is I think it's this stretch of road here is just maybe a little bit longer for them I, I think it's supposed to be equal but it just feels a little bit longer I've never had a situation where I start here and win actually I've never had a situation where I start here and lose I've, I've had situations where I lose from this position a few times but yeah don't lose from here if, if you start here you can easily dominate depends how good your teammates are this zone is pretty much a no-go zone lots of cover in this area there's also cover here but it doesn't feel as as good as this area it feels like most of the battles really occur around this region and everything on the outside is just easy frags so that's my strategy for grasslands thank you for watching thanks for subscribing if you have any comments or strategies that you'd like to share please share them and i'll see you on the battlefield